We shall discuss solved important MCQs and key terms from chapter, deviance, crime, and social control. Already, we have shared part 1 and part 2 MCQs links are given in description. Which of the following best describes how deviance is defined? A deviance is defined by federal, state, and local laws. B. Deviance's definition is determined by one's religion. C. Deviance occurs whenever someone else is harmed by an action. D. Deviance is socially defined. Correct answer is option D. During the civil rights movement, Rosa Parks and other black protesters spoke out against segregation by refusing to sit at the back of the bus. This is an example of A. An act of social control. B. An act of deviance. C is social norm. D. Criminal mores. Correct answer is option B. A student has a habit of talking on her cell phone during class. One day, the professor stops his lecture and asks her to respect the other students in the class by turning off her phone. In this situation, the professor used what to maintain social control? A. Informal negative sanctions. B. Informal positive sanctions. C. Formal negative sanctions. D. Formal positive sanctions. Correct answer is option A. Societies practice social control to maintain A. Formal sanctions. B. Social order. C. Cultural deviance. D. Sanction labeling. Correct answer is option B. One day, you decide to wear pajamas to the grocery store. While you shop, you notice people giving you strange looks and whispering to others. In this case, the grocery store patrons are demonstrating A. Deviance B. Formal sanctions C. Informal sanctions D. Positive sanctions Correct answer is option C. A student wakes up late and realizes her sociology exam starts in 5 minutes. She jumps into her car and speeds down the road, where she is pulled over by a police officer. The student explains that she is running late, and the officer lets her off with a warning. The student's actions are an example of A. Primary deviance B. Positive deviance C. Secondary deviance D. Master deviance Correct answer is option A. According to C. Wright Mills, which of the following people is most likely to be a member of the power elite? A. A war veteran. B. A senator. C. A professor. D. A mechanic. Correct answer is option B. According to social disorganization theory, crime is most likely to occur where? A. A community where neighbors don't know each other very well. B. A neighborhood with mostly elderly citizens. C. A city with a large minority population. D. A college campus with students who are very competitive. Correct answer is option A. Shaw and McKay found that crime is linked primarily to A. Power B. Master status C. Family values D. Wealth Correct answer is option D. According to the concept of the power elite, why would a celebrity such as Charlie Sheen commit a crime? A. Because his parents committed similar crimes. B. Because his fame protects him from retribution. C. Because his fame disconnects him from society. D. Because he is challenging socially accepted norms. Correct answer is option B. A convicted sexual offender is released on parole and arrested two weeks later for repeated sexual crimes. How would labeling theory explain this? A. The offender has been labeled deviant by society and has accepted a new master status. B. The offender has returned to his old neighborhood and so re-established his former habits. C. The offender has lost the social bonds he made in prison and feels disconnected from society. D. The offender is poor and responding to the different cultural values that exist in his community. Correct answer is option A. Which deviance is a violation of norms that does not result in a person being labeled a deviant? 
A secondary. B negative. C primary. D primary. Correct answer is option C. Which of the following is an example of corporate crime? A. Embezzlement B. Larceny C. Assault D. Burglary Correct answer is option A. Spousal abuse is an example of A. A. Street crime B. Corporate crime C. Violent crime D. Nonviolent crime Correct answer is option C. Which of the following situations best describes crime trends in the United States? A. Rates of violent and nonviolent crimes are decreasing. B. Rates of violent crimes are decreasing, but there are more nonviolent crimes now than ever before. C. Crime rates have skyrocketed since the 1970s due to lax corrections laws. D. Rates of street crime have gone up, but corporate crime has gone down. Correct answer is option A. What is a disadvantage of the National Crime Victimization Survey, NCVS? A. The NCVS doesn't include demographic data, such as age or gender. B. The NCVS may be unable to reach important groups, such as those without phones. C. The NCVS doesn't address the relationship between the criminal and the victim. D. The NCVS only includes information collected by police officers. Correct answer is option B. Control theory, theory that states social control is directly affected by the strength of social bonds and that deviance results from a feeling of disconnection from society. Corporate crime, crime committed by white-collar workers in a business environment. Corrections system, the system tasked with supervising individuals who have been arrested for, convicted of, or sentenced for criminal offenses. Court a system that has the authority to make decisions based on law. Crime, a behavior that violates official law and is punishable through formal sanctions. Criminal justice system, an organization that exists to enforce a legal code. Cultural deviance theory, theory that suggests conformity to the prevailing cultural norms of lower class society causes crime. Deviance, a violation of contextual, cultural, or social norms. Differential association theory, theory that states individuals learn deviant behavior from those close to them who provide models of and opportunities for deviance. Formal sanctions, sanctions that are officially recognized and enforced. Hate crimes, attacks based on a person's race, religion, or other characteristics. Informal sanctions, sanctions that occur in face-to-face -face interactions. Labeling theory, the ascribing of a deviant behavior to another person by members of society. Legal codes, codes that maintain formal social control through laws. Master status, a label that describes the chief characteristic of an individual. Negative sanctions, punishments for violating norms. Nonviolent crimes, crimes that involve the destruction or theft of property, but do not use force or the threat of force. Police, a civil force in charge of regulating laws and public order at a federal, state, or community level. Positive sanctions, rewards given for conforming to norms. Power elite, a small group of wealthy and influential people at the top of society who hold the power and resources. Primary deviance, a violation of norms that does not result in any long-term effects on the individual's self-image or interactions with others. Sanctions, the means of enforcing rules. Secondary deviance, occurs when a person's self-concept and behavior begin to change after his or her actions are labeled as deviant by members of society. Self-report study, collection of data acquired using voluntary response methods such as questionnaires or telephone interviews. Social control, the regulation and enforcement of norms. Social disorganization theory, 
theory that asserts crime occurs in communities with weak social ties and the absence of social control. Social order, an arrangement of practices and behaviors on which society's members base their daily lives. Strain theory, theory that addresses the relationship between having socially acceptable goals and having socially acceptable means to reach those goals. Street crime, crime committed by average people against other people or organizations, usually in public spaces. Victimless crime, activities against the law, but that do not result in injury to any individual other than the person who engages in them. Violent crimes, crimes based on the use of force or the threat of force. Best of luck please subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to get notification of latest uploads if you are new here. Like the video and comment if this video was useful to you.